Greetings everyone, I'm back this time with a really, really killer good appetizer uh, for your next dinner party. This one you want to try, I know I always say that, but I really mean it this time. I always mean it, but this time I really mean it. Got to try this, it's absolutely delicious. Um, it's a, a shrimp dish, it's basically shrimp put on a crouton, and I'll explain that in a moment. And then it has a, it has a vermouth, uh, a dry vermouth cream and herb sauce that goes over the top of it. It's, oh God, it's so good. And it's really easy to prepare. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I wanted, I did wanna give credit for the recipe to uh, Mark Bittman. I got, got it out of Mark's uh, latest cookbook, Dinner for Everyone. This is really a cool cookbook because it has a uh, hundred iconic recipes in it. Um, and it's got, uh, they're, they're color coded. So they're either, either easy vegan or perfect for company. So you might want to check this recipe book out. It's, it's excellent. He's written over, I think, 21 different uh, cookbooks written in all kinds of journals and he's the real deal. So let me start out by showing you the ingredients. Got some olive oil. You always got to have olive oil. Unsalted butter. dry vermouth, got some heavy whipping cream, have some garlic cloves here that I've peeled, and salt and pepper of course, don't want to forget that, um, and the stars of the show, the shrimp, these are gulf shrimp, they're wild caught uh, Gulf shrimp, so they're they're absolutely delicious. And we've got some baguette uh, that I'll show you in just a moment what, what we're going to do with that. And we've got some tarragon, which um, we're going to use as the garnish on this. I'm going to, uh, after it's been cooked and um, made into a crouton, um, I'll cut these up into smaller pieces. All right, I have uh, turned on my toaster oven over here. It's a set at about 400 degrees. I have it at 380 because it's on convection, but 400 in a normal regular oven. Um, and I'm gonna take my baguette here and I've already cut it into a couple of pieces. I'll put that one aside, that's for later. And I'm gonna take this garlic. I'm gonna find a nice big thick clove here and I'm gonna cut it in half like that. And I'm gonna take this garlic and rub it onto the bread. And this one's falling apart on me, that's okay. Get that rubbed on there. Infuse that great garlic flavor into the bread. All right, we've got those guys all rubbed down now. Now I'm going to take some olive oil and paint it on to these pieces of baguette. And I want to get a nice even coating on there. And these guys are going to go into the oven for about six minutes. All right, there we go. So while I'm waiting for the six minutes to uh, go by, I'm gonna uh, now uh, slice some garlic. I wanna get it into some nice slices. I don't know if you guys remember, I'm sure you do, if you've seen Goodfellas, you remember the scene in the, uh, in the, in the jail where all the, the mob guys were cooking spaghetti and they had lobsters and they're in jail, but they've got all this stuff. They're paying everybody off. And one of the guys is sitting there with a razor blade cutting garlic, paper thin, paper thin, paper thin. Well, I'm not that good, but I'm going to make them as thin as I can. Oh, yeah.
And you know, you want to, probably for this dish, you want, you know, like two, uh, two garlic cloves for the rub down of the bread. And then maybe three uh, for the, uh, for the dish itself. Now, I'm only making enough shrimp here for me. This recipe actually calls for um, two pounds of shrimp. I probably got maybe, maybe a quarter of a pound, probably not even that much. But the one thing I'm gonna do, and I've learned this on a lot of recipes, is that when you have a, a sauce or something that's gonna go with, it's gonna accompany, you know, like a steak or shrimp or chicken or whatever, go ahead and make whatever it says to make. So if it calls for four chicken breasts and you're only gonna have one, go ahead and make all the sauce. It's not gonna hurt anything. You just have a little extra sauce. That's not, that's not a bad thing. Okay, got that off my chest. There goes my alarm. The bread should be done. Let's take a look. I'm going to let them go another couple of minutes. They're not quite where they need to be. All right, I'm going to take a look at the bread now. Um, I just turned the oven off. Uh, when I've made this before, I, as I was thinking about it, I've usually used like day old bread, so it was drier, didn't take as long. This took about 10 minutes. So if you have fresh baguette, probably gonna wanna go about 10 minutes. So that's what I did. And gonna get a nice crusty top on it. It's gonna make a great crouton. Well, it's time for the big show. We're gonna cook the shrimp up now. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of butter. All right, so let's see, that's probably about two tablespoons right there. Let's get it going. All right, starting to bubble now. So I'm gonna put the shrimp in. And let's put these guys in. I uh, shelled and deveined these shrimp earlier. An important step. So we're going to let these go for about a minute on medium high. Don't want to burn them. And then we'll flip them over for another minute. All right, let's go ahead and turn these guys. Give these guys a bit of salt. Here. Oh yeah, that's looking great. All right, now I'm gonna turn that way down. Take these shrimp off, it's been about two minutes. Now I think I have enough butter in here, so I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, slivers of, of um, garlic in. And we're just going to let these cook until they get nice and brown. So I've turned the fire down quite a bit. Again, I want to make sure that I don't burn them. Now the next step, we're going to put in the uh, dry vermouth and deglaze. So we'll get all the, all the little bits off of the bottom of the, of the pan, which is where all the real flavor is. Now, I'm gonna turn that down. I'm gonna get the vermouth and I'm gonna do a half a, a cup of vermouth. And we're gonna let this half a cup reduce down to half its, so down to a quarter of a, a quarter of a cup. Oh, there we go. Now watch what I'm doing now. There we go. All right. Oh yeah, look at all of the good stuff coming off of the bottom. So we're gonna let this reduce down about half, halfway. And we're gonna pour the cream in. I'm gonna turn this down. All right, I'm gonna wash up some of this tarragon while this guy cooks away here, cooks down. 
and get rid of the stems. I love tarragon with this dish. It has kind of a licorice flavor to it and uh, it really, really adds something special to this dish. Okay, I think that's about right. Now I'm gonna take a quarter of a cup of cream, heavy cream, put that in, give it a good mix, and I'm gonna put the shrimp back in. Oh man. Let's get those guys coated nicely. Now what we want to do is we want to salt and pepper this and uh, to taste and then bring it up to a boil. And once it gets up to a boil, we're going to turn it down and let it sort of simmer for just a, just a few minutes, maybe a minute. And again, I've got the fire pretty low here. You know, everybody's cooktop is different. So, um, You'll have to figure that one out for yourself. All right, there's our salt. Let's get some pepper on here. Oh man, I'll tell you what. We are good to go. All I have to do now is take these croutons and I'm gonna cut them up. plate here for a nice presentation. I'm going to turn this off. And put these guys on the croutons. Oh, wow. I hope you all can see this. And now for the coup de gras, I'm gonna pour this sauce on here. I wanna do it so you can see it. Oh man. Now let me finish it off here with the tarragon. All right. So there it is. Let's see if I can maybe come up here. And there you go. So we have wild gulf shrimp on a crouton with dry vermouth and cream and herbs and salt and pepper. And oh man, it's so good. All right, make this one. You guys have a great 4th of July. I probably won't get this posted before then, but uh, have a good one. Stay safe, wash your hands, put your face mask on when you go out. You gotta keep safe. Florida is, is a disaster zone right now as far as COVID-19 goes, so be safe. All right, I'll see you next time.